Hey, welcome back to the special series. So here's our next question of the series. And uh, as always, I'm just getting aside and I will be counting uh, five in the reverse. And that's your time. You are supposed to pause your video or take a screenshot, whatever way you wish. But you are to solve the question on your own first, right? And after that, we shall solve it together. And your time starts now. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Here I am back. Okay, so let's see uh, how you have been able to solve it. I'm sure many of you must have already solved it. If yes, then congratulations, you are on the right track. And if not, don't worry. Uh, you will learn now how to solve these kind of questions. See, so it says, if a cube is equal to 1 and a is not equal to 1. See, if a would have been equal to 1, that would satisfy, right? So, a is not equal to 1, that has been mentioned. So, yani ki a 1 ke alawa kuch or number hai, the a is something else other than 1, which satisfy this equation, right? Okay, that is one thing. And that's it, that's the information. Now, question is asking about, what is the value of 1 plus a plus a square a cube a 4? up to a power 80. Now, first remember, understand this thing, this is this means all the terms in between also, right? So, it is not possible and it is not wise also to write all the terms a power 5, a power 6, a power 7, a power 8, a power 9, a power 10, a power 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's not necessary to write. So, you should understand this meaning, right? And most of you, I'm sure you already understand this. It goes up to a power 60. But why I'm telling this? Because I've seen this. Uh, I was working, uh, I was a uh, uh, training. I was having a training program conducted by CBSC for uh, some uh, CBSC school teachers and uh, there I gave a certain question like that where they were to, supposed to uh, add certain numbers till a large number in thousands. So I think 2025, 1, 2, 3 up to 2025, something like that. I asked a question to them and I wrote, uh, I put this dot 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 in between because it was not practical to write all the 2025 numbers, right? So to my amazement, some of the school teachers uh, return the answer uh, by just uh, working on the return numbers. They omitted that dot 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 part, right? So I'm, I was amazed, madam, how it could be possible teachers can do that. So if teachers can do that, why can't the students in front of me? It is possible. That's why I'm pointing it out. So always understand that. So when it is mentioned in a pattern like that and there are some dots here, so it means uh, this pattern continues till this last term, right? That is a very small thing, but it is an important thing. Okay, so let's come back. So we are supposed to find the value of this expression here and this is given part. Okay, let's try to identify what we can determine with this given part. By the way, there are various ways we can answer this question. Uh, one way could be that uh, uh, you take it as a GP and you can find the sum of the GP. That is also one of the ways, right? Should we do that? What is the harm? Let's do that. Let's do that also. There are various ways. I will tell you all the different ways possible. So let's first you make use of the GP. So this is a GP of 61 terms, right? Where 1 is the first term and A is the common ratio, right? If you are familiar with that, the so sum of n terms of a GP is given by A into uh, uh, R raised to power n minus 1 divided by R minus 1, where R is the common ratio. This all the terms have the normal meanings. The n is the number of terms, S is the sum of those n terms, A is the first term, R is the common ratio, n is the number of terms, fine. Okay, so applying it in this case, so sum of 61 terms, right? There are 61 terms here. So sum of 61 terms of this AP should be equal to how much? A, the first term here is 1. Common ratio R here in this case, it is A only, right? And number of terms, we have already seen it is 61 terms. Achha, some of you might wonder, sir, ye 61 kaise aya? Are baba, A power 1, A power 2, A power 3, see A power 60. So these are the 60 terms, right? Right? And we have this first term also, right? 1, which is a power 0 in a way, right? So they are all the 61 terms. Small counting, small error. Mat karo, yaar, sahi karo. So this is a raised to power 61 because the common ratio here is uh, a, r is a here, minus 1 divided by r minus 1, r is a only. So it is a minus 1. Fine. I hope it is okay. There is no difficulty. There should not be any difficulty. So I think we are done, right? We are almost done. Nothing to be do. Nothing to be done because uh, just using the sum of uh, uh, n terms of a geometric progression, the, using this, this formula, we have got the answer. How? Because a cube is equal to 1. If a cube is equal to 1, so if I raise it to power 20, can you tell me what will be the result? 
yes it is a power 60 that will be equal to 1 only because 1 when multiplied with itself any number of times it is going to remain 1 only isn't it simple so a power 60 is 1 but here we are having a power 61 to ki farak panda hai yaar uh, a power 61 you can write as a power 60 multiplied with a isn't it and a power 60 just we have figured out it is 1 only so putting it value putting this value here so 1 into a is nothing but a right so a power 61 minus 1 actually becomes this 1 yeah this 1 no need to write this is uh, a power 61 is a only so this is a minus 1 divided by a minus 1 and because a is not equal to 1 which means a minus 1 is not equal to 0 so we can straightforward cancel them to get our answer so which comes out to be 1 so basically this required sum let me write this word s only for this so this sum comes out to be 1 that's it you got our answer isn't it it isn't simple <laughs> right okay that was one of the ways okay uh, let's look for alternate ways let's look for some alternate way also as i told you uh, let's not do the sum of the series let's try to uh, see the meaning of this part uh, when a is not equal to 1 so a cube equal to 1 so what does it mean so a ki 1 ke alawa aur kya value ho sakti hai let's try to identify that so when we say a cube equals to 1 it means a cube minus 1 equals to 0 yes or no yes and now you must be familiar with the identity of a cube minus b cube right it is a minus 1 into a square uh, plus a b plus b square so in this case b is 1 only so this basically becomes a minus 1 multiplied with a square plus a plus 1 in that order okay and that is equal to 0 now because it is product of two terms that is equal to 0 it means at least one of them must be 0 dono 0 ho ye bhi ho sakta hai but kam se kam ek ko to 0 hona padega one of them must be 0 for sure but this first term is not 0 because a is not equal to 1 so this would have been 0 if a comes out to be 1 which is not the case because it is clearly mentioned that a is not equal to 1 right so this term is not 0 which confirms that the second term that is a square plus a plus 1 this is certainly 0 is this point clear to everyone of course yes right okay now just using this property in this expression right let's just just use of this property make use of this property in this expression so what we can do we can uh, group three three terms together right we can group three consecutive terms together and every time we can take out something common so that we are left with this a square plus a plus 1 or 1 plus a plus a square right uh, it's very easy to see here uh, let me rewrite it quickly so this first one i'm keeping aside and uh, by the way we can pair any three consecutive terms always you are going to get this expression right if you take first three terms then also this is 1 plus a plus a square if you leave this first one if you take these three consecutive terms you can take a common right taking a common so it will be 1 plus a plus a square only right so basically taking any three consecutive terms you are going to left with the same expression which is zero right so what i'm doing here right now is i'm keeping this one aside and in the next three terms uh, let me write so this is a a square a cube fine and same with the next three terms they have to be a4 a5 a6 and so on i'm i'm sure you are able to see the pattern why we are doing this why i'm doing like this because keeping this first term aside then i'm left with 60 terms and making three three a pairs of three three terms there are groups of three three terms i'll be having 20 pairs in the last pair would be ending with a power 60 right so i'm just again using this dot dot dots so you understand the meaning of this that means this pattern is getting continued and the last term is going to be a power 58 and then 59 and finally 60. Cheek hai. so we are getting this sum this sum let me call it s or whatever so this uh, after this first one we are having this 60 such groups and from each group uh, let's take something common so one and in this second is, is in this group i can take out a common so taking a common it is one plus a plus a square isn't it which is zero so this entire terms becomes zero okay let's move further to the next uh, group here so i can take out a power 4 common here so the moment i take a power 4 common it is going to be one plus a plus a square which is again zero isn't it we already talked about this so this term also becomes zero right and same way every term is going to become zero isn't it and the finally the last term if i take a power 58 common so again i'm going to left with the same expression one plus a plus a square which is again equal to zero so basically after this first one every term is going to become zero so answer is clearly one right 
we already figured out it uh, by using GP formula as well. So there are alternate ways, there are different ways and it's entirely up to you at which method you go with. Uh, but uh, in my opinion, you should be comfortable and uh, familiar with all the different ways possible. Thank you very much.